I have a plastic jar that is tightly closed. Inside is a glass bottle half filled with green water. A stopper with a clear plastic tube running through it is tightly pushed into the glass bottle. And you can see the water level in the tube. What do you think will happen to the water in the clear tube when I squeeze the jar? So here's a drawing of the jar. We have to remember that air has mass and takes up space. Therefore, air surrounds the jar. Air is also found inside of the jar and inside of the small bottle itself. In regards to volume, when I squeeze the plastic jar, there's less volume inside of the plastic jar. The particles of air are then pushed closer together, but the same number of particles are forced into a smaller space. So when I squeeze the jar, I'm pushing the particles closer together. Just like the syringe system, there's air in the jar and there's air in the glass bottle. As I squeeze it, the air particles bump into the water and put pressure on the water. When I squeeze the jar, I'm compressing the air in the jar and the air particles bump into the water and put pressure on the water. The air particles would be bumping into the surface of the water and they're colliding against each other more as well as the tube. When I squeeze the jar, the volume in the jar is less. The air is compressed. The particles are closer together, so they bump into each other and the sides of the jar more often. This increases the pressure inside of the jar. The air inside the top of the clear tube is also compressed. It pushes down with more pressure on the top of the water in the tube. You have to note that water does not compress, but it puts pressure on the air inside the glass bottle. When the air inside of the glass jar is compressed, it puts pressure on the water in the tube and jar, which puts pressure on the air inside of the little glass bottle, which compresses the air in the bottle. The compressed air goes into a smaller space. Water moves down the tube to fill the space that used to be filled with air. That's why the water level in the straw goes down when pressure is applied. I have a starting pressure, and you can see the water in the tube is up. But when I squeeze it, the water in the tube now goes down. Furthermore, we decrease the volume of the jar and increase the air pressure when we squeeze the jar. The pressure increased on the water in the tube, which increased the air pressure in the bottle. The volume of air in the bottle was compressed and the water moved down to fill the space in the bottle. 